Creole Parametric 4.0, Lesson 17, Part 2. We will continue where we left off. One of the things I did notice is that I still had not fixed the pattern. So I'm going to select it in the model tree, edit the definition. We're going to go and take a look at the table. And one of the things is I looked at it before, and I realized that we have the original holes over here. So it is a negative 5, and I did not put that down for my last hole here. So we'll try that, negative 5, file, exit. It gets embedded with this model. And there's my final hole, middle mouse button to complete it. So we finished the model. Uh, let's do a little bit of a touch up on the view. I'm going to shut off the spin center, and I'm going to click on the a datum and hide it so we only have the object on the screen go up here and we can click on with reflections and control D and when you do that you'll get a reflection based on that angle that you have if we wanted to go over to the uh, options and model display and let's go to isometric instead And yeah, it was set correctly. I thought for some reason I thought it might have been a triometric. I should have known. All right, so we'll just keep it like it is. Or let's see, because we're going to put a section view in here at some point or a visual cutaway section. We'll leave it like it is, but let's go to the uh, applications and do a little bit of photo rendering. Click on render. Takes a few seconds for that. And close the render. We can go up to scenes and click on edit scheme scene and lights and we could add a light and let's add them with a little bit of color to it okay and add a spotlight or distant light sorry and we'll make that one a different color and how about hot pink we'll go with blue I'll zoom out a little bit. We can show the light where they're coming from. We could drag it around. Get a different view of it. Okay. So, close. I'm going to um, zoom up. And I'm going to make my screen area a little bit smaller, like so. And I'm going to take a screenshot. And save it. And close the render. And close the model tree for now. So we've got our new colors on there. And let's go and select um, let's go with shading with edges for right now. All right. So at this point, let's say you wanted to do a drawing. And we're going to go and uh, click on new drawing of the oil sink. Uh, we'll go with uh, D size and <clears throat> sheet setup and might as well go and pick out our standard D size format. And it says it's 0.333 to scale. Let's make it uh, 0.5. Let's see if that looks good. It's okay. 
might be a little tight with the dimensions. And we'll go to the annotate tab here and show model dimensions. Click on, I think we'll click on the front view first, then the top. Click on the third, there's nothing left to put over here. We have to move items over here if we want to do that. We'll save all those. And as far as the center lines go, there's an awful lot of them. We'll save them all anyway for right now, like so. Now you can see the pattern dimensions are coming up. So at any time I can come in here and get rid of some of them at least, whichever ones I want to get rid of. And I'm going to delete them. Just leave a couple of them in there. Now, there's a lot of cleaning up to do and moving. We've done that in other, <laughs> other projects. And... Uh, if I actually go and open up my original project that was done for the book, you'll see that there's a bunch of dimensions. And actually, it doesn't look like this one was cleaned up very much either. But it has fewer dimensions shown and has a different set of drawing properties selected for it also. So I'll go back over to here. And again, you can work with each one of the dimensions and the views and clean it up and make it look correct. Um, what we want to do is go add another sheet. And we're going to put in a, I've got to go to the layout tab. And we're going to put in a general view. I'll put it over here someplace. And as far as the scale goes, maybe we want to make it a little bit bigger. Let's see what happens. That's, well, we can go bigger than that even. Let's go to one. Apply. And I'm going to click OK for right now. I just want to move it around, take a look at it. I don't want this scale down here, so I'm going to click on it and delete it. All right, so double click on this again. Visible area. It's got full. Let's go to a partial view. and pick a piece of geometry, and then select a series of points. Little mouse button to end it and apply. And it will give us a view of just that area. So that looks OK. Let's go to Sections. 2D section plus, and there is not a 2D section, so we have to make one. And I will select done. It's going to ask me for the name. I'll just give it A. And I'm going to select not datum A, obviously. So I've got choose from the right or the top. I'm going to pick the right and then apply. And it's going to cut this section back. And then I'm going to click in here for local and select a piece of geometry. All right, like so. OK, and there is my view. Now, go back into this. That's the view display. Let's turn off the uh, about no hidden and dimmed. Apply. It's a little simpler. OK. And let's go into our section. Go back to the layout or in the layout. Click on the section lining, the X hatch. And it doesn't allow us to do fill. But what we could do is spacing and go half on it until it looks like it's filled in. So now you have a local section and a partial view. Now the other thing we did is we created an image. Oh, maybe we did not create an image. Let me see. I did. 
did. Let me go over here. Put our image right there. Now I'm going to go back over to my other sheet. I'm going to take that image off for now. And open up the, uh, go back to the part. And I realized what I did. I already created that image. So I'm going to go back over here to the photo. Now I guess we can keep it like it is. I was going to do something else with it, but I think that's that's enough. Okay, so back over to sheet two. And again, that object was okay. I was thinking that it would be a different color, truthfully. So import. And put it over here in the corner. And again, you, at this point, you can finish this. And you can move your view and edit it and change it as you wish. So you've got a sectioned partial view, which is a local section. And you've got an image of the part photorealistic and you have your dimensioned drawing here. And again, here you should have a section and a variety of other things you should do to make it uh, more appropriate. If we go into sections here, let's see what's available. Not that one. I'll type in B. Pick top, see what happens. Okay, and then you have your sectioned view here. And basically, we'll go to our display again, and we'll see this say no hidden and dimmed. I wonder if we can get in now. See, these aren't available. I was hoping we could try one of those. Apply. Okay. And. Lastly, make sure all these are turned off. And I think we don't want dim, to be honest. Let's go to none, like so. And let us let's see if filled is available. It is. Done. Picture or your pictorial view did not allow the filled, but we made it look as if it was filled by changing the spacing. All right, so that completes lesson 17.